Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpents. And if you do enjoy the videos, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Ripple likely to come out on top with an XRP battle with the SEC, says crypto legal expert Serpents. Hold on tight. This episode is going to be a roller coaster, probably one of the most intense episodes of 2022. And we are starting to wind down 2022. We haven't got too much left, but will. Santa bring us a closure to this case before the end of the year. Let's see. Stay, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Don't do two things at once while you listen to the serpent. I know you. I know what you're up to. I know you like to multitask, but listen closely because there's a lot that we got to unpack. A crypto legal expert says that he sees a complete and total victory for Ripple over the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission, the SEC as the most likely outcome for the XRP lawsuit. The SEC sued Ripple in 2020, alleging that the payments firm sold crypto asset XRP as an unregistered security. You and I already know this. For those of you that are researching into XRP for the first time, welcome, welcome to the channel, much, much appreciated. I do 10 to 12 minute videos where I talk about everything that is going on at the moment in the market in a very condensed form so that you don't have to do three hours of research a day, you can just come here and check it out. So if you do like what you see, do hit that follow button. Now, the attorney, Jeremy Hogan, tells his 157,000 YouTube subscribers that he sees Ripple coming out victorious at summary judgment as he believes XRP was not sold as a security. Now, according to Hogan, there are two bases for the outcome. He says in, in brief that he, he cites to the work of one of, of its law firms that reviewed the 266 legal decisions related to securities violations and in their brief on page two states, a comprehensive analysis of the federal and appellate law reveals that no authority exists to support the SEC's attempt to transmute the Howey analysis of an investment contract transaction into a conclusion about the underlying asset. In every application of Howey, where an investment contract was found, there was some identifiable legal relationship between the oscillable issuer and the investor providing investment capital. In short term, XRP investors most of them didn't even know that Ripple existed, right? They went and bought XRP tokens. They didn't go to, say, a company presentation by Ripple where Ripple sat down, gave a presentation and said, hey, guys, we're Ripple. This is our token. Buy our token. We're brand new. We're going to be awesome in a couple of years' time. So if you buy our token now, you can help us make money now so we can reinvest that money into building our company. They never did that. That never happened. So you know where I stand on this. To me, it's a settlement or a win. We're gonna get this thrown out. But there's a lot that we gotta unpack. Now, Ripple Key Partner Bitso shifts dozens of millions of XRP. What is happening there? So 170 million XRP exchanged hands. And here's where Binance sent XRP. So Way Alert is really cool. So recently in the past 20 hours, several large transfers of XRP tokens have occurred over 160 million XRP tokens exchange hands among the participants of the Ripple major on-demand liquidity partners. The Mexico-based crypto exchange Bitso, in which Ripple also invested an undisclosed amount three years ago. So 170 million XRP exchanged hands and they went from, uh, let's have a look here, they went from 32 million to 49 million each of Ripple's on-demand platform and the largest crypto exchange in the Latin America region transferred that amount. Way Alert stated that Bitso moved these funds to an unknown wallet. So we'll keep an eye out, Serpents. We'll keep an eye out. Where's it going? What is happening? So it's really, really cool, though, that it, blockchain gives us this level of transparency that we can, you know, try and keep an eye out. And where is Binance sending them as well? So according to this, so there were internal transfers. Most likely they are connected to the proof of reserves audit Binance initiated recently and called for other crypto exchanges to follow suit. So as we know, Binance does have a fairly decent amount of XRP tokens available in reserves. Let's see, Serpents. Let's see. But let's keep going. Now, Cardano creator Charles Hoskins says rumors swirling that Ripple and XRP lawsuit conclusion is imminent. He even went on to say that it's April, um, December 15th that it's going to happen. Now, Serpents, please, in the comments, what do you think? Do you believe that we're two days away from a settlement or a win for Ripple? What, what are your thoughts around this? And did you, did you actually watch 
what he said during that interview. But let's keep going because this episode is going to get even crazier. Now, Ripple conquers billion dollar market due to new partnership. Will it drive XRP price of $5? AI Baraka Islamic Bank has partnered with SADAD, a Ripple enabled platform. Ripple's XRP token could be poised to benefit from the massive transaction the company is gaining. Now, the company, the company, the cryptocurrency based company service provider Ripple is expanding its presence in the Middle East and Northern Africa region with this brand new partnership. Now, it's a central bank of Bahrain, licensed Islamic bank, has signed on to the SADAD Bahrain, a leading payments gateway channel in Bahrain that is Ripple enabled. The Middle East and Ripple is a dream made in heaven because the Middle East, the way that they're, they're creating their entire economy around blockchain, it is going to be one of, if not the powerhouse of the blockchain future. It's really, really exciting what the, the Middle East is doing right now. And a lot of people are looking there to set up offices, to set up businesses, because it's kind of, kind of is the place to be right now if you are serious about this. Now, the XRP price prediction has Ripple sees potential in carbon credit and gaming NFTs. Now, what could the future of this blockchain look like? Well, the future of this blockchain is looking like it could be one of those blockchains that could be involved in multiple different facets of the world, right? So from carbon credit to gaming NFTs to commercial NFTs to, um, you know, not NFTs like, you know, 10,000 penguin images. No, that, that, that's, that was just the introduction to NFTs. I'm talking about commercial grade, large institutions, level nfts that's where they're going and carbon credits and the, the ripple network the xrpo it could be really 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 exciting to see how that evolves over time one thing is for sure the ripple that it is today in two three years time will be a completely different organization different company and it is moving at a very 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 fast rate to just look at the quarterly reports of the company to get an idea of the mass adoption that it's having and quit looking at the price Quit. The serpents don't look at prices. They just do not look at prices. So do not look at price serpents. That is wrong. Now, Ripple settlement would be a loss for the whole world. A US politician says. Now, I tend to agree that we didn't come this far to have a settlement that kind of still keeps the, you know, like keeps things blurry in terms of regular regulatory clarity. We don't want that. We want regulatory clarity for the whole industry. So my hope is that if we have to wait more, more months, I would rather do that than be in a position where we settle early and, you know, like December 15, but there's still not that much legal clarity in the US when it comes to cryptocurrencies. What do you guys think? I mean, I, I, I see that as the, the best option. Now, Ripple and SEC collectively asked the court to set key date as the XRP lawsuit enters its critical phase. This is going to be exciting. They're asking US District Judge Annalisa Torres to set a deadline of January 4, 2023 for non-parties to file sealing arguments ahead of the summary judgment, according to a request by the attorneys posted on Twitter. This is getting good. Then, the next key date will be January 18 by which any parties or non-parties may file opposition to non-party sealing motions. Both parties in the case of a deadline on December 22nd to file their own sealing motions. By the way, that's one day away from the two year anniversary of all this. And the SEC first sued Ripple in late 2020. This is getting really, really exciting serpents because uh, there is an end in sight. There is. Just be patient because it is coming. Will it settle? By December 15, though, I don't know, Serpents. Uh, I gotta say, to me, 2023 seems way more likely than this. I think this is just, once again, noise out there into the market. The SEC filed its redacted reply to Ripple's opposition to the SEC's motion for summary judgment. So we'll keep, I'll keep you updated on that and what that looks like and if there's anything that you guys should be aware of or concerned about. But ladies and gentlemen, SBF has been arrested. Yeah, finally, finally. I mean, that has been a long time in the making, but I'm very, very, very happy that that has finally happened. Um, don't know how you guys feel about it. 
But to me, um, the news is that SBF has been charged with wire fraud, conspiracy, securities fraud, securities fraud, conspiracy, and money laundering. You know where I stand about this. I hope they put him away for a very, 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 very long time. And he missed the Senate hearing, but promises to testify to the House. Well, I don't think he'll be testifying anything because you've been arrested, buddy. And I hope he, I really, really do hope he gets what's coming to him. Now, will the attorney reveal the possible effects of the LBR, LBRY's loss in the SEC versus Ripple case? Will, will, will there be effects to this, right? I've mentioned before, it's very different. They're very, very different cases. And Ripple already passed the Howie test a long time ago. LBRY didn't. So I wouldn't be too stressed about a serpent. I know you guys worry about it, but I do want to play you this just so you guys get an understanding of just where the ripple landscape is going and what is coming in the future and the problem that it solves. This is pretty big. Take a listen. Payment is immense. Estimated at over $130 trillion and growing. But its infrastructure is archaic. The challenge? Trapped capital. Intermediaries with high fees. Slow settlements. Incomplete transaction data. Frustrating failure rates. And single point security exposures. At Ripple, we understand these challenges and have created an innovative payment solution that leverages the XRP ledger and the digital asset XRP. XRP is the perfect crypto for payments because it transacts quickly at very low cost with high throughput and is carbon neutral. Ripple's payment solution uses XRP to bridge fiat currencies, eliminate pre-funding and makes payment terms visible, which supports our partners' compliance efforts. And we offer affordable line of credit options that enable capital agility and rapid scaling. When you are ready to scale to new corridors, our network provides you access to premier receivers in key markets that you can start transacting with in as little as four weeks. Here's how a Ripple payment works. The sending institution requests a fiat-to-fiat -fiat quote on pricing and foreign exchange or FX. The sender receives and approves a quote with pre-negotiated FX margin from the receiver. The sender submits the payment instructions. The sender debits funds from a digital asset wallet funded by Ripple with XRP and transfers funds to the receiver in less than three seconds. The receiver immediately pays out the end beneficiary in fiat according to the payment instructions. I like it. Serpents, I like it. If you ever in doubt about how it works, that is how it works. Receiver, XRP wallet, receiving institution, beneficiaries. Very, very simple. It was published on, um, on Twitter and it is also available um, on the Ripple website if you want to check it out. But I like these because it's a very simple way to explain the problem and the immense size of the problem that XRP solves. Now, a lot of people after that document came out saying, well, there's no settlement coming this year. Look, Serpent, I gotta tell you, I don't think there is a, a settlement coming this year. I'm very, very much of the opinion that March 2023 is the time. I hope so. I hope so, Serpent, for all of us. Now, in terms of what happens once we do take off, well, whew, I mean, Multi-month, multi-year, that's what we're looking at and that is what is coming and it is going to be truly, truly exciting. In the meantime though, I do believe that we're still going to see drops into the mid-20s. Now again, it's not financial advisor, I'm not financial advisor, but I'm just interpreting the charts in this particular manner. But when we do start to take off, it will be spectacular. But a little bit more patience is needed, Serpents, as we head there. Could we drop all the way to 20? Look. It can happen. It is a possibility that it can happen. But to me, a mid 25 cents is likely that that is my point where I'm going to be going in and going in quite deep. Now, if we never get to that, well, look, I already have enough XRP. I'm very content. I'm going to 
myself personally, I'm going to wait to see if I can get the, the best possible entry point in. Will it arrive? That There is always the possibility that it may never arrive. And I really, really want to stress that out. Dollar cost average, only put in where you can afford to lose. If you did enjoy today's video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. I look forward to see you on the next one. And by the way, there is a special surprise because there are two videos today. There is an interview with a particular organization that uh, have filed an amicus brief and that interview goes live in about nine hours. Let's go.